we have to formulate what we want and be so concentrated on it and so focused on it and have so much of our awareness of it that we lose track of ourselves. We lose track of time. We lose track of our identity. And the moment we become so involved in that experience that we lose track of ourselves, we lose track of time, that picture is the only picture that's real. And everybody's had that experience when they've made up their mind that they've wanted something. That's quantum physics in action. That's manifesting reality. That's the observer in full effect. Your consciousness influences others around you. It influences material properties. It influences your future. You are co-creating your future. sign today that you paid attention to any one of these things that I created and bring them in a way that I won't expect so I'm as surprised at my ability to be able to experience these things and make it so that I have no doubt that it's come from you Have you ever seen yourself through the eyes of someone else that you have become? What an initiation. Have you ever stopped for a moment and looked at yourself through the eyes of the ultimate observer? I am much more than I think I am. I can be much more even than that. I can influence my environment, the people. I can influence space itself. I can influence the future. I am responsible for all those things. I and the surround are not separate. They're part of one. I'm connected to it all. I'm not alone. Knowing that there's this interconnectedness of the universe, that we are all interconnected and that we are connected to uh, the universe at its fundamental level, uh, I think is as good an explanation for spirituality as there is. It is my belief that our purpose here is to develop our gifts of intentionality and learn how to be effective creators. We are here to be creators. We are here to infiltrate space with ideas and mansions of thought. We are here to make something of this life. To acknowledge the quantum self, to acknowledge the place where we really have choice, to acknowledge mind, when that shift of perspective takes place, we say that somebody has been enlightened.
quantum mechanics allows for the intangible phenomenon of freedom to be woven into human nature. Quantum physics, very succinctly speaking, is a physics of possibilities. It opens fundamentally the question of whose possibilities and who chooses from these possibilities to give us the actual event of experience. And the only answer that is satisfactory, both logically and meaningfully, is the answer that consciousness is the ground of all being. We must pursue knowledge without any interference of our addictions. And if we can do that, we will manifest knowledge in reality and our bodies will experience it in new ways, in new chemistry, in new holograms, new elsewheres of thought, beyond our wildest dreams. All of us one day will reach the level of the avatars that we have read about in history, the Buddhas and the Jesus. Welcome to the kingdom of heaven, without judgment, without hate, without testing, without anything. That we simply are has allowed this reality we call real, from the power of intangibility, to pull out of inertness, action, chaos, and hold it into its form, and we call it matter. How can we measure the effects? We get to live our life and see then if somewhere in our lives something's changed. And then if it has changed, we become the scientists to our life, which is the whole reason why we're here. <laughs>